Hey gang, today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, when is the proper time to use a lifting belt. Lifting belts are fantastic and they have a great place uh, in the gym. Not everybody, it's not mandatory, okay? Not everybody is gonna need one. But at some point, if you're lifting heavy, you're gonna contemplate wearing a belt. Now, for my money, I see a lot of people that are wearing the belt too often, okay? They, they discover the lifting belt and they, they put it on for all their lifts because it feels good. It allows you to lift more because you've got more leverage. You're giving your abs and your core something to push against, okay? So that mistake, in my view, it's a mistake to wear your lifting belt too often. You really want to reserve it for, my rule of thumb is 80% of your one rep max or over. Somewhere in that neighborhood. In other words, for your heaviest lifts. Sub-maximal lifts do not require a belt because, hey, you want to get good at the lift, right? And you want to uh, learn to develop strength in your core, your back, your ability to brace. All of these are skills that you might not get if you're depending on a belt 100% of the time. So I recommend that you limit your use of the belt to your heaviest lifts, okay? It can be a great thing, but you don't wanna overuse it and fall in love with it. And you certainly don't wanna be that guy or gal that walks in the gym with it on and straps it on and leaves it on for your entire workout. I don't really know of any scenario where that's a good idea. So for my money and for my best advice is your heaviest lifts. Here I have a lever belt. Okay, I love this thing because I don't like messing with the two-pronged thing where you have to just fight to get that thing on and fight to get it off. I really like the, this belt. I got this locally at Titan Support Systems. So a great place, you can, you can order this online or you can, I believe you can go out to Flower Bluff and buy one of these directly from the manufacturer which these are awesome, okay? So anyway, the lever belt, when you put this guy on, okay, you're gonna put it on like so, and it is adjustable, okay? And then you just crank that baby down tight. You do want your belt on pretty tight because you want the pressure that you can give yourself something to push against. Now, if uh, when you finish your lift, take it off. Okay, now it's just sitting there. So sure, you can walk around with it like that, but uh, I wouldn't leave it on, ratchet it down, you know, for any length of time other than the lift itself. So guys, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, hit me and I'll be glad to help and answer. Thanks for watching.